Hey guys, welcome back. This is Lei. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with high performance computing clusters, the HPC. If you have followed my tutorials all along, you must have noticed that all my tutorials are on single samples. So what if your dataset has multiple samples? How do you loop through them? Well, loop is a programming term that means go through all the samples and process them one by one. It's not the right term we use in our case. In NG state analysis, we use the term parallel computing, which means we process all the samples at the same time. So what do we need for parallel computing? We need an HPC system, which is composed of multiple interconnected computers, with each computer processes one of your samples. Suppose you have an RNA-seq dataset with 30 samples. Processing each sample takes 4 hours. On a single computer, it will take 4 times 30, which is 120 hours, to process all 30 samples. That is full 5 days. But on HPC system, it only takes 4 hours to process all 30 samples. That's the beauty of parallel computing. Each research institution should have an HPC system, which looks like this one. In each cabinet, there are multiple slates. Each slate is actually a computer connected with cables. You can access to this system through your laptop with an account. So if you don't have an account, just go ahead, apply for an account through your institution. If you don't have access to HPC or you're an individual learner, don't worry, I got you covered. I'm constructing an HPC system for NGS data analysis on Amazon AWS system. So just stay tuned. Each HPC should have a job submitting system. Why? Because you're probably not the only one using HPC. In your institution, you, there should be thousands or hundreds of people using the same system. A job submitting system keeps track of everything that's running on the HPC and makes sure your programs get the resources they need and it makes, it makes efficient use of the entire system. It's basically a management system on HPC. There are many job submitting systems on the market, with Slurm as the most popular one. But if your system is different, don't worry, the principles are all same. So do we have to know the details of how it works? Of course not. You don't have to know how a car works to drive a car, right? We're the end users. So from our perspective, we just need to create a job script, which is a simple text file with instructions. And we just, we, then we submit the job to Slurm, the job submitting system, and check the status of the job, and then review the results once the job completes. Here's an example workflow of the entire uh, submitting system. The first step, we log into the HPC system using SSH on the terminal of your computer. Just open the terminal, copy the code, and paste it. And make sure you use the right host name of your HPC and your username. And once we log in, it's a Linux system. We use command line to do everything because HPC doesn't have a graphical interface. So we first create a folder for our data, and then we transfer the data from our laptop to HPC using SCP in this format. There are many ways to transfer data between your laptop and HPC. There are also graph the tools with graphical interface and we'll uh, go into details in the next video. So once the data are transferred, we can write 
uh, job script using Nano on HPC di directly. Or if you are not familiar with Nano, it's fine. Just uh, create a text file on your laptop, write the commands, save it, and transfer the job script to HPC uh, using the SCP method. So this is the inside of a job script. The top lines, starting with um, the pound signs, are the instructions for the Slurm system. For example, <clears throat> the job name, it tells you what the name of the job. Output, this is a log file, error, the error file, and nodes. So how many computers are you request, requesting? We need one. How many tasks are you going to run on this computer? And how many CPUs do we need for this computer? And how many memory are you requesting? And how long are you expecting your program will run on HPC? After we uh, specify the instructions, we can put our code, our program, below over here. You can ignore echo. It just shows the, the phrase on the screen to let you know what's, what's going on. So we can activate the Conda environment in this format. And then we can put our code or commands down below over here and save it. And this is the job script. And you can transfer it to HPC and submit the job using the command s batch and the job script. And different job submitting system will have different commands. So just check with your institution. And once submitted, and the system will assign a job ID for us. And you can check the job status using sq-u your username. And the output of this command is like this. It shows the job ID, the partition, means the computer group on the HPC, which is determined by your institu institution. The name of your job, user is yourself, ST, the status, R means running, time means time passed since you submitted your job. Nodes, we need one node. And here the name of the node. On the right is the actual real uh, job script for RNSeq analysis for one sample. Here on the top are the instructions for our um, task. We require like 64 gigabytes. Sometimes you know fast queues are big, so more memory would be good. And one node, one task. Uh, usually it, it takes four hours to process uh, one sample. And then we activate our conda environment in this format. And then we put all the commands in our previous tutorial in the job script. First step, trim the adapters. Next, align the reads to the reference genome. Next, quantify the expression using future counts. And once it's done, save the job script and submit using S batch. And the job will start running on HPC. You can also run R script. If you have uh, everything in R, you can run R script using R script command and with your name of your R file. So what if you don't want to submit your script? What if you want to work interactively? You can start an interactive node using srun. Like we request one node, um, one hour, so you can interactively program or run the code on this node. Why do, why do we need this? Because when you log into HPC, you are in the head node, which is the most powerful computer for people to log in. You can run your computation on the head node that will jam the traffic block everyone from logging into the system. So you have to start a new node, run to somewhere else. So um, here, 
it assigns you a new node for you to run your command. So you can also cancel your job with the uh, ask cancel command with job ID or cancel all the job under your name. And that's how you use the job submitting system on HPC. And for more details, just go to my ngs101.com site and subscribe if you like it. And I will see you in the next video.